Uh, I want to welcome you all to the fourth annual Fashion Tech Hackathon. Um, very excited to have you all here. I'm sure you've heard and have uh, participated in and or worn uh, something that you would think of as a wearable technology. Um, this gives us a chance really to try to cross-pollinate, create conversations, start thinking further what's possible. Our expectation is that at the end of this 36-hour experience that you actually have physically something to show and present. The hackney starts about 9 o'clock and then everyone's really excited, everybody's coming up with new ideas and having such a good time and they're hacking all through the night. Things start to hype up again on Saturday and people start to get really excited and then Saturday night it's like panic because you have to have it done by Sunday morning. So it's just an interesting process and quite a roller coaster, but it's really fun. Hackathons are a lot of fun. Um, you get to just like stay up as long as you want or as little as you want um, and you get to learn cool things and meet really cool people from around the area. Presently, our idea is to add Raspberry Pis into clothing to allow for a mesh network. The end goal is that you'll be able to select a piece of clothing online in a store and it'll start making recommendations for you about, okay, this would look good with um, that piece of clothing. And it'll auto-create an outfit for you. So that way it makes people like me who uh, aren't very fashionable shopping a lot easier. We have to try to get the timing to spin this to a certain degree. Um, to get it to present the tie at the correct angle that we wanted. We have a bracelet that's going to measure your blood alcohol content and then we're hoping through an app we could have uh, maybe your friends get alerts yeah. or you can call an emergency yeah. number. Yeah. And there's going to be a bunch of like heart sensors and stuff in it. Although we're going to have to work on that. <laughs> I'll change that pattern though. <laughs> yeah, so we're probably going to stay up for at least 24 hours. Um, we'll probably end up taking a nap. <laughs> Maybe two. We may take turns working on things, you know. One yeah. person takes a nap while another one takes a switch over. So. But our main plan is to pretty much code through the whole weekend until we get the project done. Well, so far, we have our sensors working, um, kind of, and we got our servo spinning. This Arduino is going to be connected to that Arduino over there by them. Um, Which each loop? one of them is going this to contain a one of the color sensors because they require uh, PW, PWM output frequencies. So we've got your bearing, what direction you're going right now, temperature of the area, the altitude we're currently at, the pressure, barometric pressure, then just a counter for our own fun. We're gonna add a few more things, but this is gonna be the control point of everything where you get to see what's happening. Their stuff, for the most part, is going in the sleeve. We also have pocket warmers that are gonna get installed down here and a battery pack that's gonna be in the chest as well. So we're gonna like sew it and then they're gonna put it between the outside and the lining. So they're gonna start in sleeve and go in between the layers and then we'll stitch it together once they have all the technology in it. Nikolai is the only one who actually didn't 100%. He didn't go to sleep at all. Outside of that, all of us at least tried to get some sort of net. We grabbed all the data from a J crew and basically have this whole layout now where um, you can sort through the clothing like, you know, okay, here's all the tops, here's the bottoms, accessories. So basically we got the whole back end going now in terms of um, all the data that we need. Yeah.